in America, men have rights. Women, even the vice president, complain about men being paid further and greater than a woman. But let's talk about why. Most men eventually marry when they have social skills to carry, and openly when they carry that to a girl's soul or heart, he is one in some way because she has enticed him to be one. The truth is that if he is the provider for the family, he does need a wage that's higher. Because many women who say they're in business don't push themselves to the extent of being able to provide for themselves singly or provide for their children wholly without a man in front of them. So please forgive me for having worked for years as a man in small business and seen it time and time and again that while women are there to sell and to work and to grow and to be anything but a female jerk, they often have a man, not all of them, but many of them in those realms who is their main provider. So it means that they don't push themselves to the same level of being a provider until something happens. The man departs, the man divorces, the man dies, the man leaves, and then they're stuck with the mortgage and all sorts of people around them they might consider as time thieves. A time thief is what people can be today, and a time thief is what a man never has time to work with or stay with in any way. The liars of America don't know the life of a man. The liars of America are still men by far, because that's what their license might say in a way that they feel is right for them. But they're still working at a low minimum wage because they didn't make the social networks that got them a real career in any way. You see, a real career has a salary from a company, not an hourly wage. And a real career in a business provides for oneself and one's family in every way. A real man doesn't apply his dick to his work. A real man uses his mind without being a jerk. The liars of America walk around with their ultimate pride. They shave their head up. They look like they're a part of an Italian network. But what is it doing for them? Is it getting them the job they need? Or have they thieved from someone to lie and eventually to bleed? You see, real men take issue with liars of America. Real men don't shit on you because they think they're more manly than you. A real man might have worked in the military, but then he hangs on to that glory by wearing those clothes and doing things inappropriately. But a young man who's in his 20s, who's done nothing yet in life but form an alliance with peddlers and panhandlers, is never really considered a real man in life. It's true. He could have fathered some children, one or two, but what is he doing to provide a real approach to his life? He might have come from the hood, he might have come from the sticks, he might have come from the countryfied chicken areas of the world or the impoverished areas of an area of a community. But does that prevent him from going to a library and reading to improve himself? Does that prevent him from using his cell phone constructively and time effectively to listen to videos that can raise his skill sets into something better? Because if you can take all the rejections on a street corner Maybe you can take rejection in a sales process for a company that's better. The real men of America know what it is to be a real man because they've had the liabilities, the legalities, and the love lessons of a family. The liabilities are your responsibilities to provide food and shelter and vehicle and transportation to cart your family. The liabilities of a man is his wife, his spouse, the legalities that brought him into his life and everything of it. But once that relationship is over, that situation is done with. You see, tomorrow is past. Today is here. And tomorrow, sorry, the past is gone. I apologize. I'm monkeying that with my con concussion. The day is here. But tomorrow, you never know what the Lord will bring to your life in strife, in struggle, or in the love of your life. When my siblings stole away from me through their lies, their gossip, and inappropriate incestuous attitudes, the love of my life, you can better believe I 86 them immediately from my life. There is a legality still left, and that my mother's estate 
has been helping me to protect my goods, but what the Lord told me is that the liar in my family would try to destroy everything I earned in my life out of stupidity and jealousy.